Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with the second video. And today's topic is going to be Chosen Ones. You are top tier. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my Chosen Ones in the back. Listen, family. Chosen Ones, you are top tier. All right, somebody go ahead and drop that in the comments, y'all. We're going to set the tone of the video. Somebody drop in the comments and say I'm top tier, all right? And so I may explain what top tier means, y'all, once I get into the breakdown of this video. But you got to realize something. Everybody won't like this video, okay? Everybody is not going to take too kind of this video, all right? Because in order to be top tier, you know, you have to meet some prerequisites, some requirements, some standards, all right? You know, everybody don't just be top tier because, you know, you decided to wake up and say, I'm top tier. No, you got to put that work in. No, you, you got to have some results, all right? You have to be qualified, okay? And, and let me say this, y'all, because I, I'm a huge advocate of uh, you don't got to be qualified to be uh, called, right? You just got to be ready uh, to be used when God call you. And so with that being said, y'all, you know, I understand that. But what I will say is in order to be considered top tier, all right, top notch, okay, you have to have some standards, Okay, and not only standards, y'all, but it's some things that you got to meet, some requirements that you have to meet in order to be considered top tier. All right, LeBron James didn't just wake up one day and say, I'm top tier. All right, Carmelo Anthony, he, he's not one of the best, y'all, but he made it to the NBA, so I'm just saying. He, he didn't wake up one day and just say, oh, I'm going to the NBA because I'm top tier. No, it was some things they had to do. They had to work out. They had to train. They had to sacrifice, right? So... Once again, y'all, I'm aware that everybody won't like this video. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get directly into it. Uh, before we get into this video, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video. Yes, sir. As well as subscribe to the channel. Not only that, y'all, y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's get into it, Chosen Ones. Number one, you have to be high value. All right? high value this is how you know that you are top tier you are high value reno how do i be top how do i be top tier or what does it mean to be high value right so you got to have your priorities in order okay this includes having a job this includes uh having your own place to stay this includes being independent this includes right having a source of self-reliancy just having all your priorities in order right i know chosen ones wasn't ready for that one y'all but you can't say you have value and you bumming it out you can't say that you have value and you living on the couch you can't say that you have value now here's the thing y'all i will say this it is a such thing as i'm on the way to it i'm putting that work in i'm grinding right I'm on the way to it. I'm putting that work in. I'm grinding. So I just want to make sure I make that clear, right? This is not a materialistic, you know, party. This is about saying, you know what? I know what I don't have, but I'm going to put in the work so I can get it, right? I'm just saying, y'all, if you want to be high value, you have to have your priorities in order, okay? You can't look at the homeless man on the street and he out here saying, high value. Well, how? You don't have an address, all right. And once again, y'all, I don't think I'm no better than the homeless man on the street. But you got to have your priorities in order. Next, y'all, you got to know who you are. OK, you can't be high value if you don't know who you are. Anybody we seen on TV, anybody we seen in the world, anybody y'all that we know. Listen, family, they know exactly who they are. All right. And so that's very important, you know, on your journey, on your journey of being top tier. You got to know who you are, y'all. You got to know where you're going. OK, if you have a car and you're trying to drive to Chicago without no GPS or no type of map, you're not high value. You have to know exactly where you're going. You're going to get lost. OK. And, and last but not least, y'all. OK. Uh, 
you got to work on yourself. So if that's going to the gym, that's exercising, that's working out, whatever the case is, you have to understand that if you're going to be considered as high value, you got to be working on yourself daily because how are you going to sustain that man that you want? How are you going to be able to maintain and provide for that woman you want? How are you going to be able to sustain that job? Okay, I get it, y'all. Y'all hate me right now. But all I'm trying to get y'all to realize is for those who are top tier, y'all drop in the comments and say I'm top tier. And for those who are top tier, y'all go ahead and drop in the comments and say I'm high value as well. Okay? And again, y'all, let me make this clear. You may not have everything. Okay? At one point, y'all, I was homeless. At one point, y'all, I didn't have a car. At one point, y'all, it was hard for me to provide for myself. But you know what still made me high value? My mindset and knowing that I was going to get out of my situation because I put in the work to get it. Not Oh, I sure hope the Lord bless me. No, faith without works is dead, family. Faith without works is dead. And so with that being said, y'all, in order to be top tier, all right, you have to be high value. Simple as that, y'all, all right? Uh, moving on to the next one, y'all. Uh, number two is going to be this family, high quality, all right? You have to be high quality. Well, Rena, I thought you said that was high value. Let me differentiate the two, family. All right, so when you're talking about being high quality, this is the texture of a product. This is the taste of a product, all right? Whenever you cut into a steak, you can tell if it's quality or not. Or matter of fact, y'all, let's just say you got you a nice old ribeye, and then, you know, you compare it to a pork chop. Well, the quality of that pork chop is going to be different from that nice nice old juicy ribeye that you got from uh, uh chilies applebee's roof chris all right arizona's wherever y'all want to say but the point is y'all it's the difference in the quality of it. it is premium it is top of the line it's the best in the department all right somebody drop in the comments and say i'm high quality yes sir make sure you drop in the comments family and say i'm high quality all right so again y'all let's just say you got a burger from McDonald's, okay? That's low quality. Everybody know you can get you a double cheeseburger. Well, nowadays, y'all, for like $2, okay? But back in my day, it was 99 cents, all right? And I feel old, y'all, talking about back in my day. But what I'm saying is, y'all, the, uh, che the double cheeseburger used to be 99 cents, y'all. Today it is uh, about $2, $2.99, right? It may be $4 somewhere else. But the point is, you know that's a low quality burger. And then you got steak and shake. Well, steak and shake come with clearly a shake, but also the quality of that burger is just so much better, y'all. It's so much more delicate, all right? And then if you want to take it up another notch, then you got Shake Shack, right? Uh, 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 and Five Guys, too. I will put Five Guys and Shake Shack really like on the same level, to be honest, y'all. Just my opinion. That's just my opinion, right? But y'all get what I'm saying. The quality of the burger changed and so the quality of the person changed all right so in order to be top tier you got to be a quality person and y'all remember y'all in one of my videos when i was saying uh only quality people all right only quality people not those who are trying to use you not those who are trying to drain you not those who are trying to take those who bring worth to a company all right do you think that google corporation is gonna hire anybody just anybody just because you come in and say oh i need a job my kids they need help no they're not gonna hire you just because of that they're gonna hire you if they see you as a high value person that can bring uh worth and value to their company all right as well as you being a quality person all right you have to be a quality person and so that's just what it is y'all moving on to the next one number three all right this is where we start getting a little technical y'all um misunderstood all right in order to be top tier most people who are at that level y'all they are misunderstood right because it's something about them that they have that the world just ain't ready for yet y'all when you talk about your martin luther king's your Malcolm x's your rosa parks all right 
uh, uh, W E B the boys is. I mean, it goes. It, uh, uh, it, what's the guy named y'all who do jazz? Langston Hughes, right? I'm sure at that time they was like, what kind of music is that? Well, now if you go to the uh, children's library, the adult library, you can read a book about Langston Hughes. You can read a book about Martin Luther King. All right. At the time, y'all they hated Malcolm X, but now you can read a book about Malcolm X. Okay, they were misunderstood, but. Guess what, y'all? Today, they are looked at as top tier. They are looked at, family, as top tier. And so with that being said, y'all, in order to be top of the line, y'all, one of a kind, all right, you have to be looked at as misunderstood. And most of us chosen ones are looked at as misunderstood. Listen, y'all, they won't get it right now. Mm -mm. You too ahead of your time. You are beyond your years, right? They're going to get it, you know, in the future, and then they will cherish it, even if you look at it with music, all right? I'm sure from Michael Jackson to Prince, and they did it to Prince bad, y'all, of how he dressed, you know, having eyeshadow on his eyes, the whole nine, y'all. Even Ray Charles, y'all, they couldn't stand that he went from doing church music to, I want to say, R&B and blues, all right? They couldn't stand that. Well, Reno, what are you saying right now? His music, Ray Charles, Prince, Michael Jackson, they were all uh, looked at as legends now. They are all looked at as classic music, classic music. But that was misunderstood back in their time. That was misunderstood back in their prime. That was misunderstood. And so what I'm saying is, y'all, they don't understand what you're doing right now. They don't understand <clears throat> They don't understand that you're trying to break generational curses. They don't understand that you're trying to do something more than, you know, what the average is, y'all. They don't understand. They don't understand. But once it get done, they're going to label you, you know, a legend, an expert, all right? Simply, it's just how it is, y'all, right? I didn't make the rules, okay? Moving on to the next one, y'all, is going to be number four, and that is you have genius level talent, all right you have genius level talent and so with that being said y'all you know i heard jay-z say this inside of a um a, a, a podcast or an interview something like that y'all where he was like you know he believed everybody has some level of genius level talent and i believe that that's very well true all right every human being on this planet is gifted at something every every human being okay that you have seen y'all i don't care if they wasted their life and i don't care if they're doing the best of what they can do with their life they have some type of genius level talent okay and so with that being said y'all you got to understand something with that genius level talent this means that you are operating in excellence you are operating at top notch okay you're operating at a top tier level all right this gives you that top tier uh talent because you know y'all everybody have not tapped into their gift right everybody has not tapped in into that uh, god-given thing Okay, everybody has not tapped into it. And so with that being said, y'all, understand that. And uh, I'm going to go back to Michael Jackson, y'all. Once again, when you see this man sing and dance, you're looking at, you know, uh, genius level talent. Okay, you know, people think that you have to be an astronaut or a scientist, okay, or doing something that is unthinkable. All right, that's not the case. Genius level talent is when you are operating within your gift or in your talent you know at a high high level y'all when you are uh operating at an excellent level okay and so with that being said y'all that's what it means to have genius level talent and everybody has not tapped in everybody has not tapped in and so y'all have to understand that you know in order to operate within your genius level talent your god-given gift you have to tap in family and that's what it is y'all this is what makes you top tier all right this makes you top tier okay uh moving on to the next one family is going to be the last one and that is number five y'all which is people crave your presence yes sir let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back listen family People crave your presence. And so what that simply means is, y'all, you know, people want to be around a winner. People want to be around somebody who got value. People want to be around someone, you know, who is worth something. Okay. So, for instance, going back to the homeless man, because y'all get it immediately, right? 
How many people are you going to see, you know, calling up their homeless man that hang out with him today? You know, to see if he got a cookout going on, right? How many people do y'all think is going to say, hey, man, what you got going for today? Let's go out and have a good time. Not too many people is going to call him, right? He probably don't even have a phone, okay? However, y'all, everybody want to hang out with Kevin Hart. Right? Everybody want to go have a party or a dinner with Kevin Hart. Why? It's because he's a man of value. Okay? He can bring something to the table. All right? And a lot more than what this person brings. And so, y'all see the difference of what I'm saying, y'all? People crave your presence. You know, when you are a person, a woman, or a man of value, everybody got something for you to do. Do y'all think that Beyonce got free time? I'm just being honest, y'all. Do y'all think she have free time? And so, you have to understand that. Right? People are calling you to come to the wedding, calling you to go to the party, calling you to have fun with you, calling you just for this, that, and the third. And it can also be business. Okay? It can also be business. And so understand that, y'all. Uh, when it comes to, you know, you being top tier, you're going to be able to tell this, y'all, because people is going to crave your presence all right and so if any of this made sense y'all drop in the comments and let me know uh we're gonna go ahead and do a recap and then we'll conclude this video so number one y'all you have to be high value just to kind of uh, you know express this once again y'all what makes you high value you have your priorities in order okay uh you know who you are you know where you're going all right and you know you know that you have to work on yourself right understand that y'all that makes you high value and let me add this to it y'all as long as you're working in your purpose you're working towards something y'all it's not about what you don't have it's about what you're where you're trying to go and this is why i say you got to know where you're going okay number two high quality high quality y'all it is the texture and the taste of that product all right you got a double cheeseburger from mcdonald's and you have a, 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 a Shake Shack burger or a Five Guys burger, y'all. All right. It is much better quality. Number three, misunderstood. Most people won't understand you right now. All right. But later down the line, once people realize that, oh, she or he was beyond his years, whatever whatever you did then and they, and they didn't like it, they're going to love it now. Right? Well, love it in the future, I would say. Okay. Uh, number four. You have genius level talent, genius level talent. You don't got to be an astronaut. You don't got to be a scientist. Okay. You don't got to be the next lady from uh, what's it, uh, the movie called Hidden Figures. You don't got to figure out the, the best mathematical problem to get somebody to space. You don't got to do that. You just have to operate in your genius level talent, your God given talent. Follow what I'm saying, y'all. And the last one is number five, people crave your attention again. You're not going to see a homeless person getting hit up to go to the Oscars. But you'll see Kevin Hart get hit up to go to the Oscars. Okay? And so, that's the difference, y'all. Uh, with that being said, family, y'all already know how we do. If you would like to purchase this Yes Sir t-shirt, purchase any one of these books, book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, or enroll into my social influence course, you can do so by clicking the link inside my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality